Oh, hi. We're going to be making some sushi today. Now let's go and check out how to do it. Yep. Okay, so we're making some rice. Rice over here. We're going to do three cups. Let's see the little rice. He's got an awesome headband thing. There's one. Oops. How do you hold that camera? Third, this way. There's a spice cooker uh, rated for like three cups. What you gonna do? Rinse this off. Okay, and then inside this bowl, there's markings that say like one, two, three cup or 0.246 liters or whatever. We want the water level to be filled up to that three cup measurement. This is not a official cup measurement. Okay. Stir that up a little, just to make sure that's pretty good. Then, um, so this out of the way. Then we have our lid for our pot. Put our pot in the kettle. Turn the kettle on black. Or plug the kettle in. Uh, by the rice cooker. Right. It says warm, light, keep warm. We flip that down to cook. Let it go. So, I don't know how long it'll take to cook it, but it'll go, and then when the water's evaporated, that thing will pling, and you hear a click, and you're like, what was that? Oh, yeah. And then we'll see you when the rice is cooked. Okay, so that must mean our rice is done and ready to cool. So here we go. It's been popped up after the thing picked up. I let it sit for 15 minutes. So take that lid off and shh, smell that rice steaminess. So what we want to do is put our uh, hot rice in a bowl here. So I just that's hard to do with one hand. So let's see what we can. Oh, it looks like it popped up. So, whoo, look at that. Mm. Nice lump of rice. That aside. See, it's a little dark on the bottom, but for me, that's fine. I'll get some interesting. You want to cut the rice. Cut it. Use a cutting action. That way, you do not mush the raw rice itself. So, I do that. Get it start cooling. Actually, the cutting part is for brought to you by Mitsukan Rice Vinegar, the best rice vinegar that I have it here at home, or the cheapest I find at Walmart. So you want to put about uh, that much. That's probably more than how much I want, but actually I'm using more rice than I normally do. Just cut that in. This is really hard to do one-handed. Okay, so here we are. The rice has cooled-ish. So I've got a bowl of water. I put ice cubes in it for some reason. And so what do we have? We have some uh, uh, crab stick thingies. They've been sliced up. We've got some chicken. You say chicken and sushi? Yeah, because that's how I roll. Then some uh, uh, cucumber. cucumber, not celery. It's cut up. And so there's our carrots. Then here's our nori. These are half sheets. They come in a sushi party, um, toasted seaweed, hand roll size, a hand roll. You can see there's a shiny side and a rough side. You want to put your rice on the rough side and then your shiny sides out look pretty. One of the important things is 
have some uh, plastic wrap for some reason. And um, is that everything? Oh, we've got some crab uh, crab salad with shrimp and whatever mixed up. Cucumber, pretty good. Some toasted uh, sesame seeds. Believe me, they're toasted. And a platter to put them on. And so, um, let me set this up. And let's see if you can figure out what I'm going to do. Ooh, they're avocado or guacamole stuff. Yep. I like putting guacamole on it too. Instead of avocado. Because lately, avocado is not the easiest thing to find ripened. Ripened, ripened, ripened. The good ones, you know. By the time it's, it gets good, you forget about it. So we want to wet our hands down. And I like using the rice paddle. Just throw some on there. And I will iron layer mine this direction for some reason. Just kind of smear it on. On your nori. And a thin layer of rice. And leave a strip there at the top. That's not... Not, um, not covered with rice. I'm going to cover this thinly so you can still kind of see the nori through it, the green seaweed wrap thing. And so, the way I normally start layering, there, I've got it left off and I've got rice sticking to my fingers. I like to start with my cucumber. Here, grab a couple strips of this. Uh, four, five, that sounds good, right? Do that, and then what are we going to put? It's just some carrot. It's actually our first time with carrot. Using the carrot in it for some reason. We've always got carrots. Adds a nice color. What do we want? Some uh, seafood? Is that enough? You want two strips? No. What? Yeah, there's Okay. So we've got some imitation crab meat stick things going on. And we also like, instead of having to worry about avocado, um, use some guacamole, these little pouches, pre-made stuff works pretty nice. I had been just spreading it on from the pouch, and I make a mess everywhere. This seems to work a lot better. So set that aside. And then that was everything. So here we roll it up. <laughs> this is how I do it. So I don't know. I'll just rub some water on the end here to get it sealed. So we get there. And you got your roll. She's giving me the pack in the ends motion. Oh, it looks pretty. I don't make pretty sushi. Uh, probably proper sushi. I'm going to just roll it in. We don't have a bamboo mat. I had a bamboo cutting board I was showing thing on a couple minutes ago, but I left that in the other room. So here, we got a roll. And then we'll just set that aside and we'll cut it and mold it. And, um, so this can you see. Okay, so we can kind of pull some of that in. Grab another sheet of nori. That's the smooth side, there's the rough side. Let's try this again. Make your roll log shaped. The crab is clinging. So we'll set this there. And then uh, we'll make some more and then probably show you how they look when we cut it up. Okay. As Jenny's finishing off her last roll, we've finished off our plant. See, we got a platter over there full of them. I'll show you the next step, I guess. That's cutting it. And we'll try to do it.
It never turns out pretty when I do it. But it still tastes good. So here's our roll that's set. So we take our knife. Got your sharpest knife. They make juicy knives, I guess. Hey, buddy. Can you get it wet? I always cut it to the halfway point. And you want to cut it and cut it in half and then cut those halves in half. We take that sushi. We can look how pretty it is. Pretty enough for my wife to eat anyway. All our squishies. Hey, our cameraman is going wild. Okay, so here's our sushi. We'll stuff that. And now, here Layla and Skylar are going to be our taste testers. Okay, eat your sushi. <laughs> Spencer's got his chopstick. Yep. Yeah, let's see Skylar do it. Okay, Layla, how's yours? Not me. Not you? Okay, maybe you'll try it. You can smell it? I think so. Here is our homemade sushi. Bon Appetit. Now that you know how to make sushi, try it out. <laughs> That's some good sushi.